Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cedia and the Sony booth at Cedia 08. Uh, I'm going to show you one of our newest products uh, that we have out there. Our new ES receiver is the model number STRDA6400ES. And uh, this receiver has some new innovations that, unlike we've seen ever before. Uh, if we look at the uh, back panel right here, you can see you've got a lot of uh, different ports on there. It fully supports uh, custom control as far as having uh, things like IRN or 12-volt uh, triggers and also having RS-232 if you have uh, some control systems. We also have uh, lots of inputs, but some things of great note. First of all, we have a total of six HDMI inputs. We have five on the back, one on the front, and that allows you to plug in a video game or a camcorder or something directly on the front of the receiver, and then plenty of room on the back to add in all of your high-definition uh, content devices. Another neat thing that we have, if we look over at this part of the panel right here, we have two outputs. Uh, so it allow allows you in the scenario where maybe during the day you're watching an LCD television and then at night maybe you want to switch over to a projector in that same room, it allows you to choose the output uh, that you're going to use at that particular time. The ES lineup is also built very strong. Uh, it's got isolator feed on it. We try to choose the best quality components out there. That really gives you the best reproduction. Uh, we have two DSP processors built into it, so it handles uh, jitter as well as the different sound codecs and also uh, some new circuitry that we call the digital legato linear. It actually improves the quality of audio coming in uh, with audio scaling capabilities. Another neat advantage of this particular receiver is that it has dual Faruja processors, and that allows me to do a few things. I can have a GUI overlay on an HDMI source, this particular receiver also allows you to have a dedicated second zone GUI along with a dedicated second zone remote control to control that GUI. So it makes it very convenient uh, for the user to use in not only one room, but also another room. Now some of the sources that we have on here, if we go up to the uh, monitor up here, we can show you how to kind of navigate to the receiver. The uh, STRDA 6400ES uses what we call our cross media bar GUI, and it's a simple up, down, left, right type navigation. Uh, up at the top we have our inputs, and I can go in and rename these. Uh, in some cases I can also reassign them if I want to. Uh, if we go up to, say, BD, if I hit the options button, we go into input assign. This allows me to go in and select, first of all, an icon, and then what type of connection I want to use, and then also the audio connection that I want to utilize for that. So as far as input assigning, makes it very simple to do that. If we go down uh, one here, we have the music source. And that allows me to navigate from a server, or we have two things called D imports. And that allows me to navigate music from uh, an iPod Cradle or a network Walkman or a network client device that we have. Uh, and then uh, as far as the server goes, this particular receiver actually is a uh, Cat5 uh, network addressable receiver. So it can actually, using this port right here, it will go out and look for different servers you may have in your house. Uh, there's software that we have called Vio uh, Guide Media Plus that uh, allows you to turn your computer into a server for pictures, for videos, and also for music. So when I activate the server icon, it would go out and look for the different folders that have the various things built into it. So that's our music icon there. Going down to the photo icon, you can uh, pull in photos if you want to and have a uh, different navigation control there as far as pulling up those folders. We have a video, uh, and that's where you go in and find different video files. Then we also have direct access to things like Shoutcast and Rhapsody, where you can actually network right to those radio stations uh, if you already have uh, a Rhapsody account online, you can type in your account information and it goes directly to the internet and pulls in that information. And then we also have uh, access to Shoutcast, which provides over 20,000 different internet radio stations. Going further down, you have XM and Sirius support. You also have on-screen metadata for that. So it'll tell you what uh, channel you're on, what the artist is. So it's very easy and convenient to navigate. And then down here in the settings is where you set up the network. Uh, we also have something called Quick Click, which allows me to set up the receiver to control other manufacturer's components. 
couch, all on screen. I don't have to have that other manufacturer's remote sitting out on the couch. I can actually control it all right on screen. And I could try to demo that for you over here on our uh, second zone here. When I pull up the uh, quick click menu, this is kind of a sample of the on-screen remote control. And all I have to use is the cross keys on the remote here. And that allows me to navigate that specified component that I've set up in the menu system already. So it just makes it a very convenient uh, receiver for all kinds of purposes. The other thing I want to also mention is that we also have, and this is one of the first things in the industry, a receiver that actually has a CAT5 output for a second zone application. I can use this Mux Lab video ballon that we have uh, pictured down here. And that is a specifically designed component ballon, especially for Sony, by Mux Lab. Uh, that is utilized for our receivers. It has an amplified circuit in it and allows us to increase the distance uh, of running CAT5 uh, and component together. So this is one of the first receivers out there that actually allows you to run CAT5 straight to the receiver and run component video out to other zones. Uh, and we can talk a little bit about that later when we get over to HomeShare. Thank you very much.